My special guest, Dr. Teresa Geis, is a professor, clinician, and chief of the Bone Mineral Disorder Section at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Dr. Geis explains the side effects that cancer treatments have on bones. I bring you Dr. Geis. Cancer treatment probably affects bone more than cancer itself. And when we talk about cancer affecting bone, I was talking to you about cancer that has spread to bone, such as bone metastasis. But cancer treatment, even in the absence of cancer in bone, can abnormally affect bone. And this is likely true for most cancer treatments. We know that chemotherapy, radiation, um, which are commonly used in all types of cancer, anti-estrogen therapy, which is used in breast cancer, anti-androgen therapy, which is used in prostate cancer, and glucocorticoids or steroid hormones, such as prednisone or dexamethasone, that are used in many cancer treatment regimens have abnormal effects on bone to predispose for bone loss, fracture, and muscle weakness. These therapies directly stimulate the osteoclastic bone resorption to, again, accelerate that bone remodeling process in a way that the osteoclasts take over and destroy bone and the osteoblasts can't keep up. So there's less bone formed. Some of these therapies, such as glucocorticoids, can directly inhibit osteoblast activity. The effects of these cancer treatments um, are profound, and some of these, like radiation, can cause profound bone loss in a short period of time. So it's really important to identify these before the treatments and prevent this bone loss by giving medications um, that could prevent bone loss or doing other therapies that could prevent bone loss. This clip is part of a longer interview on cancer and bone health. Go here to learn how cancer impacts bone and the mechanism behind the positive effects of low-intensity vibrations. 